Hello everyone, Mr. Stork here. I'm making a quick um, update video because um, I feel like I deserve one because I've been kind of radio silent these last couple of days. Um, I'm trying to get back in the swing of things this April, but it's just, again, not the best. Um, I'm mainly tired, and the game I'm currently playing at the moment for the channel is Avengers, and that game is very tiring as it stands. Um, and we do our videos of it, so it's like, okay, what point do you have to do videos on so we're doing hour videos every other day but because of that it's like you have to have your content for eight days and so i'm making this announcement saying we're going to be doing skin, skin showcases of miles morales which i'm looking forward to i'm going to start recording that later today um a main reason that i'm tired is mainly due to the review system um which is why i'm um, i'm currently reviewing winter soldier and the falcon and winter soldier and the falcon is not bad it's just the staying up till midnight is very tiring to do, and um, only two more episodes left. I think I can get back to my regular scheduled program, but my mood, my mood theaters are also reopening, so it will give me a chance to work on reviews. Then, um, I'm just mainly tired a lot, so I feel like this is the best way to explain what's going on with the world and so forth. Um, so we're gonna play Marvel's Avengers this month, it might bleed over to May. Um, we're gonna do Miles Morales skin showcases every other day we're not doing that so we have content on the channel we're doing reviews every sun not sunday saturday and sorry friday <laughs> friday on at 6 a.m and at 9 a.m and that kind of works for me it's just a nice schedule i can get green routine and i mainly like that my um layer ones are already done so i don't have to really get up as early and finish the touches on them and they're always done before they get uploaded i always finish them at least two days beforehand so I can get them up. But these next upcoming ones are going to be done. The next one is already done. Um, It's going to be the one after that. I'm going to be like, okay, I'm going to get some Mountain Dew. And I'm just going to stay up till like 1 to write that. Because that one is going to be very last minute. Which gives you a hint of what it is. Um, My movie theaters are, local movie theaters are also reopening. Which is very good. Um, I'm going to try and see Mortal Kombat the day before it comes out on HBO Max. Even though I have HBO Max. Um, I'm going to cancel my subscription soon to it. Um, I say that, but at the same time, like, I really like watching stuff on there, but I prefer going to the movie theaters for my content, so that's why I'm giving the edge out to the movie theaters. Like, yeah, I'd rather pay you guys ten bucks than... Yeah, you can tell I'm really tired because I'm yawning in the middle of this. Um, I also like to talk about upcoming reviews because um, some stuff had moved their release dates. Um, we got one release date now, it's been, the rest of them have kind of been delayed, and I've also been looking at my chart, I'm just like, whoop, whoop, blah. It's kind of, um, interesting. We went radically down, but at the same time, it's like, I'm preparing for that stuff down the line. Um, okay, I was like, what is that movie? It's like, oh yeah, it's that movie. It's the, um, if you remember what it was, I saw, um, Henry Red listed, and it's like, oh, what's that? It's like, oh yeah, that's that Red Panda movie. But, um, Miraculous Shanghai is coming out on Disney Channel on the 28th of next month. The English dub is already coming out, I believe, next week on the Family Channel. I know you're thinking, when are you going to review it? I'm going to review it on the 28th. Now, the thing is, on the 28th, we also have another review happening, which is going to be the morning one. So that day is going to be one of the specialty ones where it's like, oh, we'll have one at, um, in the morning at 9 a.m. And we'll have, um, another one, I'd say around 6.30 because the air it airs at, um, it airs at 5 my time, so that's 3 additional hours, so it'd be up by 9. So I think it's a good time, I just need to make sure all my ducks are in a row when I do that. But, um, I really, next month is going to be an interesting month, because I'm going to be very busy with both, um, I have travel obligations, I have to do my work. But, it's going to be an interesting month, I can tell you what stuff we're going to be reviewing. We're going to start, um, that month off with Tangled the series, which I'm happy to finally get uploaded, just like, okay, good. Um, and then the Mitchells vs. the Machines. I've been looking forward to this movie since it's called Connected. I'm, I can't wait to see how it turns out. Mel Fury, and then Cruella, which, ah, I'm seeing to see. And then Shanghai, and then I decided to move this one back. This was going to be the first one of the month, but I was just like, I want to give myself some time to watch it. Is Nobody. Nobody promises to be good, and, um, Luca, I'm sorry, Shogun Steel is also happening that month, and Bay Wheels. Keep in mind, those are all in, um, June. The only problem with that is starting on June 11th, I gotta start waking up. I need to start staying up all night again, because Loki comes out. I'm looking forward to Loki. It's gonna be a great show, but I'm gonna have to, like, wake up early for that. I'm just gonna be like, 
Okay, let's get to it. Um, I have, um, I'm still in this de um, <laughs> debating side, because I'm like, I don't want to stay out till midnight for this. Not because I view it as a lower form of uh, material, it's just like, I don't know if I want to do this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to review every episode of What If when they air. I'm not going to do that for the Bad Batch. Not yet, to my knowledge, and um, it's going to be kind of interesting to see what happens. July, I'm definitely saving for Metopia, if you're wondering for gameplay stuff. Like, Metopia is happening for certain. Um, but J J July is going to be an interesting month. I'm waiting for them to also reveal the finales to the Arrowverse shows, because I review those. Um, I like to make this clear. If if and when they reveal their um, ending dates, like when the seasons are going to end, they will be on the Wednesdays of their ending season. Because um, if there's nothing else coming out. The reason I say that is because I feel like they have to come out at least in this year. The only one I could argue could waste Supergirl, because I hate that show. Um, <laughs> the Flash is probably the best one this year. and um, But I'm taking a look at Batwoman, because Batwoman is like the one that's further in development. I mean, it's pretty close to ending its season. What is it like? Okay, so I'm just doing this as a hypothetical. Batwoman has 19 episodes this season. It has aired nine of them. The next one is on the 11th, which is... I'm caught up, by the way, in Batwoman, so I'm going to finally start watching that on Sundays. I took a break, and it's just like, ah! So I'm finally happy to get back into the swing of things, just watching it on Sundays now. I'm caught up. I'm catching up on Supergirl. It's hard, but there's only one more episode for me to catch up on. Sorry, tangent. Um, let's see. So that's 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th. Assuming they have no more hiatuses for the rest of the season, no more hiatuses for the rest of the season, which I think is possible for Batwoman. I think for The Flash, there's going to be a hiatus between the two arcs. Um... Anyway, um, I would say, phew, that be, that come out the 16th. The 16th would be the review of that, because that would give me time to be like, oh, here's my final thoughts on it, get to write out. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, I think the Arrowverse finales deserve to be on those Wednesdays, um, if and when they happen. Um, I honestly don't think Legends will get hi um, a hiatus at all, because there's only 13 episodes. 13 episodes and it premieres this the second. On oh, it's coming to Sundays. Ooh. So it's probably gonna come after Batwoman, if anything. Let's see. So it'll be done by the end of the last week of July. Okay, I'm okay with that. Okay. Sorry, that would just be being like, oh, well, what's the countdown like? It's just because I want to know these type of things. Flash, I think, because we don't know when it's coming back. Flash is currently on hiatus, um, which I don't mind. This season's pretty good. Um, I think we all know the um, uh, Speed Force is the main villain. I think they said, I think Danielle Panabaker said, didn't she say like it was either episode 11 or 10? that was um splitting the arc system i think it was because it's it's either 11 or 10 because i feel like each each arc is like maybe eight episodes i think that will work in my mind because if it ends there 11 that's at least seven episodes so i think that's more accurate in saying that it's there I was waiting to see, like, if there's, like... Oh, I feel like Wikipedia did this. Sorry, I'm just double-checking. Um, when the Winter Soldier and the Falcon ends next week, which I'm looking forward to, um... Not because it's a bad show, it's just... I really want to see where it goes. This last episode was really... What the fuck? Um... Let's see. Yes... Okay, a lot of graphic word graphic novels shows up four times in the first paragraph on it. Okay, there's some separation. Cause I swear, like they announced, like what are we gonna be?
Okay, not much on the separation. I think it's going to be the 11th episode, if I'm being honest. But more information on that when the Flash airs this upcoming Tuesday. Anyway, that would just be kind of random. Like, hey, here's what's happening to the channel. Here's what's happening with reviews. I hope you understand, and please be patient with me. Till then, bye-bye.